Hey guys, it's Gary Vaynerchuk, and you're listening to the Front Row Entrepreneur Podcast with our girl, Jen. You're listening to the Front Row Entrepreneur Podcast, episode number 11. I want you to stop for just a second and see if you can list three things that you do to surprise and delight your customers, your clients, the people who subscribe to your email list. I'm talking about good old-fashioned one-to-one stuff that warms the heart, the meaningful things that maybe the other guy just would never think to do. You know, in online business, especially if you're creating online courses or in e-commerce or selling any service or product that you need to promote to a large number of people, it's easy to get caught up in all the numbers, right? We're in an environment of open rates and click-throughs and cost per clicks and algorithms. It's impossible not to constantly second-guess our strategies and actually that's kind of baked into the process, right? With our A-B tests and our split tests. But when you disrupt this pattern and surprise a customer or a new subscriber with a personal video message or a handwritten note, magic happens. Like drinking lots of water or taking a walk each day. This is the kind of stuff you don't have to second guess. You know it's right. You know it's good for you and for everybody involved. And actually, I think this is where marketing is headed. You could call it authentic marketing or one-to-one marketing. All I know is that it feels right. And how you incorporate that special touch into your own business may look really different than what I do. I think it really just needs to surprise and delight. That's it. Let me give you an example. I have recently started sending personal video messages to everyone who signs up in my private membership site, The Front Row VIP. And before I record the video, I take a second to check out their website or their Facebook page. Basically, I'm just looking to get to know them a little bit. And then I record uh, my screen and I'll I'll link in the show notes to the free tool that I use to do this. But when I start recording, my my head or the the visual of me, the video of me, is way down in the lower left-hand corner. So I don't have to worry too much about if my makeup is great or if I'm having a bad hair day, which chances are I am. (laughs) And the rest of the screen is their website or their Facebook business page because I'm looking at it and recording it and talking about it. This takes a total of about five minutes. And I'm going to tell you, based on the feedback I get from people, you would think I just gave them a kidney. Seriously, people are so impressed by this because we all know how busy we all are. So when someone takes time out to listen, spend some time with us, it really does make an impression. And for me, I've also cemented that person into my brain. So whenever I see Gloria in our group now, I'm always going to remember that she sells wristwatches and she used to be in the Peace Corps. And this gives me a great deal of confidence too as I create my content because I can truly say now that I know my audience. The guy who I bought my car from does this. He he sends me, not often, I think maybe I've gotten two over the last three years, but they've come at very smart times and he, he'll send me a video that says, hey, Jen, it's Kyle. Just wanted to let you know that it looks like you're coming up on the three-year mark with your car, and we did just get a new inventory of XYZ model. Maybe you want to come take a look at it. Hope you're doing well, yada, yada, yada. And it's it's personal. Yes, he's he's selling me, and I know he's selling me, but nobody else is doing that. Nobody else is sending me a personal video on the three-year anniversary of my car. Todd Herman, who is the founder of the 90 day year, um, he gets hundreds of people who sign up for his program every time he launches it, but he manages to send a phone call or a voicemail message to everybody who signs up for his program. And he uses a tool to do this, but he explains that it's more than worth the time that he has to invest in doing this. And I'll put the tool that he uses for that in the show notes. Other ways to really blow your clients' minds is just to send them a handwritten card for no reason, like for Groundhog's Day or maybe on the one-year anniversary that they've been with you. And if you're a brick uh, brick and mortar business, you're really only limited by your imagination. I remember when I was in college 100 years ago in Charleston, South Carolina, and there was this place called Gerald's Tires. And... Well, you know what? I'm, let's give them a call right now. 
and uh, I'll tell the story that way. It's a great age. Earl's Noel speaking. I can help you today. Um, okay, I have a question, a kind of a strange question. I am actually okay. recording a podcast about great customer service. And uh-huh. about a hundred years ago, I went to college in Charleston, <laughs> and I remember okay. you had Ladies' Day, and on that day, like if we took our car in, I think it was for an oil change, you put uh-huh. a a rose on the seat. Am I remembering that correctly? Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Do you still do that? We, we not to take anything away from Ladies' Day, but we actually do that every day. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was what I was thinking. Like in this. I don't think it used to be Ladies' Day, though, didn't it? I don't know. I don't. I honestly, I don't recall that. I don't know if it was just a one particular day they did that. But from as long as I've worked here, which is about 21 years, if you're a lady, you come to Gerald's, you get a rose. Well, what if you're a man? Uh, throwing around a few ideas, but nothing solid. <laughs> <laughs> that, that okay. Work is- as well as that. You know, we did hats and bumper stickers and stuff, but nothing stuck like the roses had. And so what's the feedback that you get from people when they when they experience their rose for the first time? Well, you got to think, you know, especially with these ladies, you know, they, they get a tire and it, and it ruins their day, <laughs> right? You know? Right. Side of the road, waiting for a tow truck, and it's just a really nice touch. After a really stressful, exhausting day to get into your car and have a road. So, yeah, it really blows them away. I love it. I love that you're still doing that. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, that's it. I just need to do my <laughs> research. Thank you so much. Okay. Have a great day. You're welcome. Ma'am, okay. thanks for the call. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Okay, so now I'm going to give my college roommates, Carol and Meg, a quick call and see what they remember about Gerald's tires. Okay. Um, so I, I want to ask you a question both of you. Do you remember Gerald's tires? Well, Carol, you still live yeah. there. But like, yeah. okay. But um, what what do you remember? Like, what makes them special? It's a great day at Gerald's. How may I help you? This is Scott. How may I help you? <laughs> Funny enough, Carol kind of nailed it there. Check it out. It's a great day. Gerald's Noel speaking. I can help you today. What What else do you remember about Gerald's tires? That they sold recaps. God, no. What else? I remember on Wednesday was Ladies' Day, and you got a rose on your seat. Yeah, and they still do that. They still do that. Oh, thank you. And, like, I think I went there one time, and I didn't get the rose. No, so what did you do, I, Carol? Tell us. I, I thought, no, I didn't really do much of anything. I just went home and cried. Um, <laughs> but I, I didn't say anything, because, you know, who wants to be the lady demanding free rose? You know? You, you want to be the lady. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, that was fun. And yesterday I went to wash my car at one of those automated, um, you know, like machine washes. And when you pull up, there's like one of those machines that's like an ATM machine and you just stick your card in. But there was the nicest man there and it was a brand new machine. And actually they had just upgraded the car wash. So everything is modern and shiny and new, but he was there smiling um, to assist me with processing my card, not because I wasn't capable. I mean, he was helping everybody who was driving through um, just to make it that much more convenient, greet me with a smile. And it really did make an impression on me. In the days ahead, I plan to really double down on this, and I'd actually like to send personal video messages to every new email subscriber um, that opts in for anything that I have to offer, if only to say, hey, you know, I hope you enjoy the the free live streaming mini course, and if you have any questions, you know where to find me, have a great day. Like, even if it's just that short of a message... It's something I think is doable, and I think that it uh, will go a long way. Mike Stelzner, head of Social Media Examiner and Social Media Marketing World, recently said from the stage at the last conference, small is the new big. And what that means to me is that we need to go deep, not wide. If you aren't already a member of my free classroom, the Front Row, uh, the Front Row, join us over at frontrowclassroom.com. And did you know that I give social media updates via Alexa Flash Briefing? That's right. After you add the Front Row Entrepreneur Briefing to your Alexa app, all you have to do is say, Hey Alexa, play my Flash Briefings. And you'll hear me giving you all the most important news in social media and digital marketing. See you next time.